Ashley Josephine here. Today we're going to be working on a sequence that will help you gain mental clarity. A lot of times when we are working, especially if we're writing or doing some type of creative pursuit, we can get lost, confused, or easily overwhelmed. And when we get into a fog in our brain, it's hard to become productive or efficient in our work. This short routine will help you regain that mental clarity that you need to do the very best work that you can. So we'll start in a forward fold. Bring your feet out about hip distance apart or a little bit wider if that feels good to you. And completely relax your head and your neck. Bending forward from the waist and allowing your hands to just hang. And you'll feel the blood rush into your head. See if you can relax your head and neck even more. No tension in the neck. You might feel a stretch in the back of your legs, especially the hamstrings and possibly the calves. And if you need to, feel free to bend your knees to take some of the strain out of the back of the legs. Just relax here. This is a, an easy inversion pose where your head hangs below your heart. It helps reverse your blood flow. And it turns your world upside down momentarily, which helps you to think in a different way and look at things through a different perspective. Now from here, we'll start to get the blood moving by interlacing your hands to your opposite elbows. We'll take a pose called Sunflower. From this folded position, you'll start to move your torso over toward the right and then come up to stand with your hands still overhead and then turn your torso over toward the left and come down. So you're making a big circle with your whole body here. Imagining yourself rooting down through your feet like a sunflower's roots, keeping it firmly planted into the ground, mimicking that process of growth as we rise up and the process of destruction as we come back down. The same process can be used in creativity and in our work and daily lives as we create and we destruct and we start all over again. This pose loosens up the hip joints and requires some strength. Use your breath here, inhaling on your, as you come up, and exhaling as you come back down. When you get back down into a forward fold, switch directions going up to the left and coming down on the right side. Now you can move here as fast or slow as you'd like. Keep a slight bend in your knees if you're feeling any pull in your low back. As we move the blood flow, we start to counteract some of the negative impact of sitting for long periods of time. We start to wake up our joints as we circle around. We tap into our inner strength, really a full body pose, still receiving the benefits of the forward fold and the blood moving down into the head. Like we're falling asleep as we come down and then waking up as we come back to standing. One more full circle here. And then when you're finished, land in your forward fold. Stay here for a moment and take just one deep inhale and exhale. And then release your hands, bend your knees and come down into a seated position. Whatever comfortable seat works best for you, take a moment here. And notice how you feel as compared to when you started. You should be feeling slightly energized and hopefully some of the fog is clearing. We're going to take a breathing exercise next. This exercise is called alternate nostril breathing. I used it before in some of my videos and it's great for balancing the right and left side of the body. The feminine and the masculine, the creative and the mathematical. So you'll start by taking your right hand and pulling in your two 
fingers, your first first two fingers into your palm. Then you'll take your thumb and close off your left nostril. You'll also take the ring finger and close off the right nostril when we get to that side. So starting on your right side, inhale through the right nostril with the thumb closing off the left. When you reach the top, take your ring finger over to the right nostril and exhale out the left. Then inhale, left nostril. Close off the left and exhale out the right. Inhale, right. Close the right, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close the left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close the right, exhale, left. One more round, inhale, exhale right. Remove your hands down, return to a natural breathing pattern here. Now you can continue with that exercise as long as you like at any time during your day. It really helps to focus, calm you down, and relax the nervous system. For our last pose, it's extremely relaxing and restorative. It's called legs up the wall, and it's another inversion. To do this pose, you'll need a wall, preferably one with nothing on it. You'll come up to the side of the wall and sit with your buttocks all the way up to the side. Then you'll lie down and transition your legs up the wall so that your sitting bones are touching the wall as close as you possibly can get them. Your ankles will be up against the wall and your arms will rest by your side, palms face up. Close your eyes here and tap into an extreme form of relaxation. Breathing deeply on your inhale and your exhale. Allowing all of that fog that is still remaining to clear away. Giving yourself permission to just breathe and be present with your body and your mind in this moment. Maybe new ideas come to you Maybe nothing comes to you at all, and what a relief for the mind to get a rest. In this pose, we reverse the blood flow again, this time the blood rushing away from the toes. The head slightly below the heart. Bless you. Allow all of your muscles in the upper body to just relax and feel how nice it is for once to not have gravity pressing down on you in its normal way. Instead, it presses onto the tops of the feet and pushes you down into the ground. But it's a gentle push, relaxing. Feel as if you're sinking down into the ground. See if you can feel heavy. Feel the muscles in your jaw and your face loosen naturally. Pull your tongue away from the top of the mouth if it resides there so that it touches the back of the lower teeth. The 
This can be a great pose for brainstorming when you're stuck or feeling lost or just overwhelmed and exhausted. To come out of the pose, press your feet against the wall and then roll over onto your side and press yourself back up to a seated position. That was your sequence for restoring mental clarity. I wish you all the best of luck in your work and on your projects. I hope that you find creativity, that you lose the fog, and I'll see you again soon. Namaste.